Okay, so today we're going to take a look at question 762, where we have a iron block placed in a tank of water, uh, mass of the iron being 25 and the mass of the water being 100 kilograms, respectively. Um, block starts at 350 degrees Celsius and the tank of water starts at 18 degrees Celsius. The question asks, determine the total entropy change during this process. So to start, we need to know, we need to define what our system is. Um, so we have a tank of water with an iron block in it. We can treat that entire tank with the block as our closed system. And we know that for a closed system, there's no mass transfer over the, bound over the boundary of the system. So therefore, we can state that our internal change in internal energy is equal to zero. So once we have that, it's sort of like a summation from our first law, where we say the change in internal energy of the iron plus the change in internal energy of the water equals zero. Now, the key thing to remember in that for liquids and solids, they're incompressible. So we can assume constant specific heat at room temperature, and that would be our CP value which we can obtain from our table. So our general formula using constant specific heat for a change in internal energy is delta U being equal to MC delta T, MC change in temperature. So for our iron, it's going to be the mass of the iron times the constant specific heat of the iron multiplied by the change in temperature for the water mass times specific heat times the change in temperature and that is also equal to zero so knowing this we can calculate our final temperature because we know the masses we know the specific heat we know the initial temperature so that leaves us to solve for t2 so plugging in our numbers here we have a mass of the iron is 25 kilograms carry my units 25 specific heat at room temperature for iron is 0 0.45 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin so plug that in carry my units times our unknown final temperature minus our initial temperature which was eight which was 350 degrees Celsius for the iron block. Now, thing to be aware of since it's the change in Kelvin is equal to the change in Celsius. So you can use either or. So for this example, I'm going to stick with the given value of 350 degrees Celsius. Um, so scroll down. So that's change in energy for the iron block plus same thing for the tank of water. So Mass of the water was 100 kilograms, specific heat of 4.18 times unknown final temperature minus its initial temperature, 18 degrees Celsius. And this whole equation is equal to zero. So solving for T2, simple algebra, you'll find that T2 is 26.7 degrees Celsius. So we're going to need that when we calculate the change in entropy for each component of our system. So the change in entropy for the block and the change in entropy for the tank of water. So that would be our next step since we need to know the total entropy change in the system. So for the block, we know that for an incompressible substance, our change in entropy is equal to the mass times the specific heat times the ln, natural log, of our final temperature over our initial temperature. So using this formula, we, once again, we plug in our numbers, and I'm not going to carry my units because you can see them from the previous line. So for the iron block, We have 25 times 
0 0.45 and it's a natural log and a key thing to remember here as I was speaking to the temperature changes equal for Celsius and Kelvin we must use Kelvin for a ratio because we know that 273 Kelvin is 0 Celsius so we can't have 0 in the denominator of a fraction so we're going to use Kelvin here and our T2 in Kelvin is 299.7 over 350 degrees Celsius in Kelvin, which is 623. So our change in entropy for the iron block equals negative 8.232 kilojoules per Kelvin. So the entropy for this, the iron block actually went down. And that's okay, because the iron block is losing energy where the water is absorbing energy, which makes sense. So we do the same thing for the change in entropy for the water using the same formula. And that's going to bring us to 100 kilograms times 4.18 Pacific heat. Same thing, the natural log of the temperature ratio. So they both end at the same final temperature of 299.7, and the water starts at 291 Kelvin. And our change in entropy for the water is going to be a positive 12.314 kilojoules per Kelvin. So we started by calculating our initial temperature using our energy balance. So we know that both entities, the block and the water, will end at the same temperature at 26.7 degrees Celsius. Then we calculate the entropy change using constant specific heat because liquids and solids are incompressible. Carry out our calculation and we know the entropy of the iron goes down and the entropy of the water goes up. So we can then apply our entropy generated formula being S gen is equal to the change in entropy of the iron plus the change in entropy of the water. And applying this formula we get negative 8.232 plus 12.314 and this is in kilojoules per Kelvin. So we know that our entropy generated for this process is a positive 4.08 kilojoules per Kelvin. That being our final answer. So looking at this answer, we see that the entropy of the total system has increased. And that's okay. So we know that even though this entropy of one of the components of the system has gone down, the entropy of the system can still increase given our definition for entropy. So this is a calculation for placing an iron block in a tank of water, ending at the same temperature, and we find that the total entropy generated is a positive 4.08 kilojoules per Kelvin.